What's going on everybody, it's Mr. Cruz and welcome back to another video tutorial on how to use flat.io. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put in grace notes or if you're a percussionist, how to insert flams or drags, those little notes that you see in your music. So let's get started. I'm signed into flat.io and I'm going to click on new score or tab. After you click on New Score or Tab, you're going to have the opportunity to title your music. For this particular tutorial, I'm just going to title it Grace Notes, Flams, Drags. And I'm going to click Continue. Let's add a couple of instruments. Let's add in a trumpet. And because we're going to talk about percussion, let me add in a snare drum, acoustic snare drum. All right, so these are the two instruments we're going to work with. Create. Okay, and then here we are in the main editing interface of flat.io. And let me change this key signature really quick. No sharps, no flats. There we go. Let's start w first with putting some notes in. Let me put um, let me put a uh, C. Four Cs right here. And let's say we want to add a grace note to the beginning of this note. So first thing we need to do is move our teardrop cursor underneath the note we want to put a grace note under. All right. So as you can see, our first note is highlighted with the teardrop cursor. Next, we want to go into our note menu. Okay, our note menu tools. And I don't see it over here, so it's probably under display more. Let's click that. And there we go. These are your grace notes. Now, um, there are two kinds here. You can have the grace note. I am not going to attempt to pronounce that. I have never seen that term before. But you know what? My good friend Google will tell you all about it. You have your grace note with the slash through the stem, or you just have your grace note, the little note that you could put be in front of the note. Uh, I'll just show you how to do both. And it's really up to you what you want to do. So you got your teardrop cursor underneath the note you want to put grace notes in front of. We're, we're in our note menu tools. I had to click on the three dots to display more options. And I'm going to click on this one, the grace note with the slash. Okay. And there we go. And you'll see that a grace note, that tiny little note with a slash in, with a slash through the stem has been inserted. What if you want to change that into a different note value? Sometimes you'll see a 16th note um, as a grace note, which is fine. So put the teardrop cursor underneath the grace note you just inserted and then click 16th and it turns into a 16th note okay you can change it back click it as it click it back to an eighth note and it becomes an eighth note but the slash the slash through the stem goes away um, not a big deal all right for me and for what my students need it's not um, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it okay so you can delete those things afterwards all right um let's put in a grace note just without the slash through the stem okay you can change it to a 16th note if you want all right what if you have uh what if you have several grace notes that you want to insert be in front of the notes okay um we can we could do that as well so let's put in let's put in like three grace notes let's turn them all into 16ths and then what you could do, you could change the pitch so you can have like a little run going into your quarter notes. All right, you could do as many of these as you want. What if they were 30 second note grace notes that you want to do like a really rapid run of notes going up to that C that I have for the trumpet. All right, uh, click four of them in, one, two, three, four. Change the pitch. All right, and then we can turn them into 30 seconds. All right, it's getting a little bit too tall here, the, the height of the notes, but that's fine. There is one limitation, however. You can't slur. You can't put a slur marking into your grace notes in flat.io. I've tried that before. So if anybody from flat.io is watching what I'm doing here, um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm clicking slur right now and it's not slurring into that C. This is still effective, it's still gonna work. You cannot put the slash through these. 
all right it's not gonna work okay so that's how you put grace notes in you could do one standalone grace note you could do uh, multi-value grace notes if you want I believe this one Akachi Katura I don't know if I'm saying that right you can only do one note if you start putting multiple of those with the slash through it it's gonna start uh, it's gonna take the slash away all right so let's move on to per um, oops let's move on to the the percussion the snare drum part let's put in four quarter notes let's actually let's do several of these same technique and same concept if we want to add a uh, flam in front of the note okay your best bet is to oh interesting because I switched the snare drum part my note menu tools have changed and right there you'll see our my grace note so let's say you want to add a flam okay again what I did was I put my teardrop cursor underneath the note that I want to affect all right and I clicked this grace note tool with the slash through the stem if you want to add in a drag a drag is two uh, little grace notes in front of a, a note click it twice so my teardrop cursor is underneath this quarter note I'm gonna click the grace note tool twice usually drags um, I take that back I don't know if it's usually but um, I think drags are 16th notes before the primary note that's on the beat or the note that you want to play so let me put my teardrop cursor underneath one of the little grace notes and click 16th and there you have it okay now you have a drag going into your quarter note again we cannot slur you can you can do the same thing on eighth notes so let me put in two eighth notes here okay we we can put in a flam and then we can put in a drag which it's totally possible to do that it doesn't look exactly the way we always want it to look but this is this is still fine it's still effective okay the only thing that's missing here is the slur so now we know how to put in grace notes flams and drags into flat.io